Hello dear friends, welcome back to part 11 of Java tutorial for beginner uh, In this video, I will show you how you can work with written type and Java method Okay So first open your ID Please wait here and this will take a time until the components gets loaded. So now it's ready. Okay. In the previous video, we work with method. Uh, we, the necessary part of a method in Java was the written type and the method name. And then parentheses and the block of the method okay so in this video I will show you how you can work uh, with written type in method okay uh, as I said that void means you cannot return anything from this method for example when uh, when you uh, return something from uh, some method you can mm, take it uh, that uh, in a variable uh, belongs to uh, return type type okay for example uh, now if I want if I want print uh, the method add here uh, this shows an error, uh, an error for us because it says us that the uh, the add method uh, does not return anything uh, to print to print here. Okay, so just uh, add method uh, can call and then uh, everything uh, everything is. Uh, coded inside the block of the add method then uh, it will execute but uh, now uh, the void is that we cannot return anything from this method if I change this to a string okay uh, all the uh, variable type uh, as uh, we learn it uh, in the previous uh, in the variable uh, title uh, as we learned in the previous videos mm, uh, you can see all the type of a variable uh, you can uh, choose any kind of uh, variable type for your written type in a method okay 
now the return type is string is not void so when uh, you change uh, you make the return type string uh, this method should return any string okay but uh, still we does not return any string uh, you can return anything by the return type the return keyword return some string okay uh, some some a string now uh, when this method called here uh, this string uh, will return from this method here so here uh, will populate by uh, this some string text for example okay now if I run and this will print as you can see this is some text string so uh, if you make another method for example static init sub method okay now you can run something for example 10 minus 5 okay you uh, when you uh, when you um, specify the written type init just you can return an init value from this method for example method sub now you can call the sub method here uh, if I run the app, 10 minus 5 uh, is equal to 5 okay any kind of uh, variable type you can choose for your written type for example double okay double uh, multiply for example um, uh, then you can return a double value from here uh, but double support integer also for example if I return 5 it is okay no problem here but you cannot return uh, for example from here uh, you cannot return a decimal value that point two because this is init at an init cannot return a double value but a double value can return an init value and also can return a double value okay also you can return a boolean value okay for example is okay a boolean wa value for example return 10 f10 10 is equal to 10 okay here is just you can return true or false okay when I write 10 is equal to 10 this means if this two are equal then here uh, will will be true if it is not then here will be false okay so this was the written type also you can take a written type in a variable okay for example you can make a variable string str is equal to add because add method returns some string and you can assign it to an string variable then you can print it again okay Hi. For example, STL. Okay, hi, semi string text. Thank you for your watching and see you in the next video. Goodbye.